Good afternoon. Yes, it is. Okay, we work by appointment. So what would happen is we'd need to make a time that you wanted to come and see someone. I would need to check that they were available for that time. And then I would get back to you and confirm it and send you the address. Okay, and it's $400 for the hour. We found premises in Lower Hutt, see the little tip of rotting disgustingness, and gutted it and turned it into the, the original um, real fun house. That's where I, you know, fun house became the beginnings of what it is now. Um, and we still had the dungeons, we were still doing a lot of dom work. Um, I used to do sessions because I was doing the phones. We were trying to scratch our way out of debt. Um, and so I would do sessions with Dominatrix clients and charge $50 less if I had my phone in the session. So I could text and torture at the same time. And often clients didn't realise because it was, you know, they get so involved in the session or they might be hooded or blindfolded or something. And I could be torturing them with one hand and texting with another, still taking bookings. <laughs> so, you know, we just built and built and built. And, and then eventually we found the building that we're in now in town and moved into town. And it's just, you know, ever growing story basically. So girlfriend experience is a new catchphrase really in the sex industry for what we used to call, what it used to be called um, fully inclusive, which just means a very intimate session. The one who finds you desirable and sexy and loves hairy chests and loves a bit of extra flesh around your tummy and loves what you're telling her. And as I always say to these women, if you can make a 60 year old feel like he's 25 again, he'll be back. Because that's what they want, that's all they want. Like a lot of people go, ooh, old men booking young women. But for them it's a fantasy. Clients never see each other, so everything works like a very, very, very tight timed machine. All of the women who work here work extraordinarily well as a team. Um, they all understand how it works and they're all trained to know how it works. If we might have three clients leaving at the same time and one arriving, people would go, why would you do that? because we work with it. So my day starts with getting up and doing all of my checking of, you know, all the things I need to check on the internet, checking our sites, doing Twitter to say who's available, checking all our adverts to make sure that they're all good, answering texts and phone calls, checking in with any ladies that may have been unwell or something the day before, making sure that they're on board for that day, um, getting showered, cleaning the premises, setting up rooms, making sure everything's all nice and warm and clean and then switching off normally about 9pm, 10pm, 11pm. So, you know, I'm looking at 12, 15 hour days, five days a week, often. <laughs> and, you know, and the weekends as well, but not such long hours, we close earlier. But um, yeah, so it's a long working day, but it's, like I said, I'm passionate about it, so. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi. Hi. We don't do 15 minutes, sorry. No, the stereotype of a sex worker um, is not what most people think. You know, they're happy about what they do. They love what they're doing. And the thing with our women is they're all very well educated or well educating. Some of them also have full-time jobs, you know, career jobs as such. Um, but they always have, all have a lot of options. Can you do a one hour massage this afternoon? Question mark, a new line. And if you can, what time works best for you? Question mark. I will be involved in some way with the sex industry for the rest of my life, whether it's teaching, talking to people, educating people is my biggest passion about the industry is educating people about it to make it happier, safer, more well accepted, which will make it happier and safer. Um, so yeah, I will be involved with this until the, either the day I die or the day my brain dies. <laughs>